Mona got on the bike back here and we are out in Bushwick at English Kills and uh, we're here for the closing party for this guy right here so we'll uh, smack Don and uh, get him to talk to us about some of his paintings here What's going on here? Um, well, we're going to interview a guy with three first names, Don Pablo Pedro, Pedro Pablo Don, Don Pedro Pablo. Tell us what the name of the show is. Uh, the title of the show is Puss. Puss, and we've made it here for the closing party. And uh, we're going to take a little run around and look at some of the paintings. Now, uh... We've got basically two different uh, types of paintings. You've got the large paintings, and we were talking before that uh, some of these smaller pieces are actually portraits, right? Some of the... Uh... Yeah, these are all portraits of um, different girls I slept with in the past summer. Really? How many of them are there? <laughs> You've been a busy guy. There's 27, I think. 27. And then we have the larger pieces. Now, we wanted to talk a little bit about your technique. You're painting on, what is this? This is a, a light muslin? Yeah, this is muslin. Uh, painted with micron pen and then uh, acrylic, like glazes over the top of it. Straight acrylic, or is this acrylic gouache? Or? It's just acrylic mixed with uh, like a lot of like watered down. And uh, all of these pieces are on scrolls. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got into painting the work on scrolls? Um, I started painting on these scrolls maybe like five years ago when I got out of the hospital uh, for my testicle. Um, yes, we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit here. <laughs> but you were in the hospital and uh, you were painting on sheets, is that correct? When I was in the hospital, I painted on the bed sheet that I was sleeping on. And I started using the pen and like a washy acrylic watercolor over the top of the pen. And that's how I sort of came up with the style. When I left the hospital, I was looking for a fabric that was similar to the bed sheet. So that's when I found this muslin. Um, and I've been sort of painting on it ever since then. Well, is that because it's so smooth and you're... I mean, you have a great facility as far as draftsmanship goes. Is that... Uh... Well, at first, when I first started these, the, the thing I was looking for was something that like bled like, really nicely with the... Oh, like a nice watercolor paper it's bleed. Sort of like, it's sort of like bled into the fabric and sort of just like melted in there and the pen bit as well. Now I've been getting a little bit more tighter with them, but um, I was really looking for something that sort of just like got that same feeling of the, from the bed shape at first. Well, you get some nice colors here. The, uh, the greens and the magentas are very rich. And, uh, and then you've got some, uh, what is that, metallic uh, pearlescent around the edges on these? Yeah, I've been using like the, the, the gold uh, paint that I put like a couple layers of uh, gloss uh, medium over the top of it. Let's go in the, uh, the main gallery here. And uh, actually, the, uh, I think the installation looks great with the, uh, the pink walls here. And we've got more of your portraits. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your, your background? You said that you had studied in Florida? Um, yeah, I went to school at Ringling. And at Ringling? I in Florida for two, one year, year and a half, and I dropped out, came up to New York. Um, ended up, lived with a friend for six months, moved, I, I found this English Kills randomly. And that's how I kind of you know everybody from here. And I've been, I lived here for a little bit. So you, you live in Bushwick now? I live in Williamsburg now. Williamsburg, okay. Uh, but I lived in Bushwick my entire time being here, except for recently when I moved to Williamsburg and my friends apartment. And tell me a little bit about where you kind of see yourself fitting in as far as uh, an art history legacy. We were talking a little bit about maybe some surrealism, but uh, somehow I also get a uh, kind of a 
uh, an Asian field, maybe. Uh, I have a hard time trying to figure out where I fit in anywhere. Actually. Miniatures. Um, a lot of the stuff I the do. The Kama Sutra or something like I that. I try to just be influenced by it, uh, as much as I can possibly be influenced by. It. Also, try to like these paintings are done mostly from sketches, or all these paintings actually in the show are all done from sketches I've done from my sketchbook that I basically took the pen to the paper and drew them out from. And I just sort of enlarge them into these sort of paintings or finish them off into this painting form. But I try to keep the idea as pure as possible with a lot of these paintings. And why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, your kind of, um, I guess I would call it grotesque imagery, your sexual imagery. A lot of this is dealing with uh, phalluses and uh, vagina forms and kind of the morphodidic uh, figures. Yeah, that stuff is it's just kind of, it's just in there. It's just sort of like around me. It's, sort of, it's something that I feel like we, we all think about as humans, just, you know, naturally. It's something that's just uh, constantly in our mind, but like a sexual sort of thing. You know, we're all very sexual beings. Um, so I just kind of... I've used that line myself a lot. <laughs> influences us a lot, I feel like. And everything we do, and a lot of things we do, artists or anybody, I feel like, um, are people that they, that is why they do things a lot of times. It's to catch a mate or something like that. It's very... It's a very human trait. I feel like we try to deny it a lot as, as humans, but it is something that is very us. Now, I was also talking about uh, maybe you getting some influence from some of the um, underground comics people, uh, maybe Crum or S. Clay Wilson and some of the other psychedelic artists. Yeah, I mean, with the line work that I do and everything, it does have that sort of feel to it. And, uh, but I mean, a lot of it's, it's just from a lot of different things that I've looked at, whether it's from the Eastern or Western sort of art history that I look at, or whether it's from comics or anything else. Like, I just try to take whatever interests me and, like, I feel like it is, it, it like, influences my palette, you know, as much as possible. It's on all the pages of great artists. <laughs> Well, I think now we'll get into the, uh, the public service announcement part of the uh, program. And one of the things that actually, I guess, set you on this path, uh, you were talking about your uh, testicle surgery uh, and getting in, going into the hospital for that. You want to um, give all the men listening some advice about self-examination and... Well, I mean, there was, there was, it was just like I woke up one morning and it was swollen testicles, you know, so then I went to some doctors and they both told me I had, you know, chlamydia and then I ended up oh taking my the medicine for it and then, you know, my testicles swelled to the size of a grapefruit, so I went to the hospital. I was in the hospital for two weeks and they had to shoot me up with antibiotics to get the swelling down to, so I could actually do the surgery to pull my testicle out of my abdomen to, Ouch. Get, to get rid of it. So that was my whole thing about that. And while I was in the hospital, I was painting on the bed sheets, which is how I started working on these sort of scroll pieces um, because of the tapestry that I made while I was there. I was sort of using that as a catalyst for the rest of the work that I've been doing so far. And many of your male figures, or at least figures with male genitalia, only have one testicle in them. Or some of them do, yeah. <laughs> some of them do. Yeah, I mean, well, these are all self-portraits, rather, they're self-portraits from different times of my life, different stages or whatever, they're just sort of, they're portraits of me, uh, from memory. That's an interesting third eye depiction yes, there. That man is trying to get to this, he's, he's reaching. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Thanks for the uh, chat with us, Don, and uh, congratulations. Don Pablo Pedro, and the name of the show again is... Puss. Puss. Heard <laughs> English skills. <laughs> and thank you, Kate. That was nice. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Fred Eagle. Fred Eagle? Very good. I Very like cool. it. <laughs> yeah.